And the next one is also good. So he makes a pair, and it's a five-point game again. 53-48. Jock Streeter starts up the floor. 4.25 left. Hanging around. Streeter right side to Perez. Out front to Cedric Lang. Left side now to Streeter. Streeter looks for Washburn. Hits him. Comes down the left side. Out top to Streeter. Streeter now pulls back, shoots, and rattles home a three. Jock Streeter hits a tray. Underrated. Second three of the day. He's got 10 and a half, 12 in the game. And with four minutes to go, it's a two-point Memphis lead, 53-51. Barton with it out top to Joe Jackson. Jackson comes left side, now pulls up above the foul line. His jumper misses the rim. It's taken off the glass by Black, and he dunks it with two hands. Minor perimeter people do their job and play the tough D. You've got to get a rebound by the interior guys. 55-51 55-51 Memphis, a new career high for Tarek Black. Here's Lang with it out front. Now to Streeter. Streeter to Lang. Left side to Washburn. His jumper is on the way, and it's good for two to make it a two-point game again. Washburn's got nine. 55-53, 3.20 left in regulation. Jackson with it. Now to Antonio Barton with 3.15 left. Barton out front. Right side pad pass, knocked away, and comes to McCulley. Miners can tie or take the lead. McCulley front court. McCulley now to Jacques Streeter. Three minutes left in regulation time. Be patient, make Lang him play with it. Right side to Washburn. Washburn out front near midcourt to Streeter, who has been brilliant in this second half. Streeter with it out front. Streeter now to Cedric Lang. Left side to Perez. He dumps it underneath to McCulley. Shot blocked. Great play by Will Barton. He controls. Oh, a great play by Barton. Barton comes right side. What a play. Got to give it to him. Amen. You betcha. <laughs> Memphis is in the double bonus. The Tigers themselves have eight team fouls. Will Barton will inbound with 10 on the shot clock. It comes in right side to Crawford. One bounce dribble, out top to Will Barton, he's got a three. Shot on the way and he missed it. The long rebound along the baseline, Streeter chases it down. Away from Joe Jackson. Joe Jackson's found his match in quickness and his strength in Yaki Streeter. Two minutes left in regulation, it's a two-point ball game. And we've got what? A foul. Yep, Chris it's Crawford. It's going to go against Memphis, a holding call for Chris Crawford. It'll be one and one away from the ball. That's Crawford's fourth foul. He is getting tired of chasing Perez along the baseline in the minor offense. Entire second half, he's going back and forth. Finally frustrated, he just holds him. Mike Perez to shoot one and one. Perez doesn't get tired. He earns the bonus hitting the front end, and it's a one-point ball game. Perez has had a nice second half, and he's got 13 points. Make it 14 to lead the Miners today. He and Streeter in double figures. The ball game is tied. One of the most in For shape. the first time since it was 0-0, it's tied with two minutes to go. It's the opposite of last year's CUSA championship game. All right, here's Jackson with it out front. Jackson comes around to pick by Tarek Black, now to Witherspoon. Left wing pass taken by Crawford. Crawford Travel. bounces in low to Tarek Black. He throws one up. It's deflected by Washburn, taken by McCulley. Now to Streeter. The Miners have the ball. They can take their first lead of the day. Streeter in the middle of the floor, a minute and a half to go. Right wing pass taken by Perez. Perez guarded by Crawford out front to Jacques Streeter. Right side to Mike Perez. Perez down the middle to Washburn. Washburn turns. Now to Cedric Lang. Foul! He'll go to the line. That's the 10th Memphis team foul. Both teams are in the double bonus. Wesley Witherspoon is fouled out of the game. It was that little triangle in the paint slide. You saw it up at Oregon for the first time. Floyd calls it from the sideline and uh, results in a layup basically by Cedric. They had to foul him. Great offense. Cedric Lang, not a particularly good foul shooter. 57% on the year. DJ Steffens replaces Witherspoon, who is fouled out of the game. And he fouls out, does Witherspoon, with five points all in the second half. We're tied at 55. The Miners trying for their first lead of the game. Gutsy. Lang's foul shot. Miners have the lead for the first time today. After trailing by as many as 13, they've now led at some point in 96 consecutive games. 56-55. One more for Cedric Lang. 
And that one is also good. Cedric Lang hits a pair. He's got six points. Miners by two. Joe Jackson with it for Memphis. Timeout Tigers. Tigers will inbound. Just Tigers. across midcourt on the right wing side. 16,000 plus on their feet. Will Barton to do the honors, and it comes into Joe Jackson. Including McCulley's family. Jackson crosses midcourt. Jackson looks for a cutting Crawford. Hits him on left wing. Crawford comes toward the baseline. Now back out front with a pass to Joe Jackson. Jackson with one minute left in regulation. Comes left side. Into the corner now along the baseline. The ball is knocked away. It's loose on the deck. Diving on it is Lang. Does he call timeout? Yes! Cedric Lang has it and calls a timeout. Crawford lost it on the dribble with 54 seconds left in regulation time. And the Miners get the timeout called. They'll have a fresh shot clock with the ball leading by two. (laughs) In David Tyree fashion, Tysh, Cedric handles the ball with his right hand. Throws his fist up, and I believe that's still the signal for a timeout. He threw his fist up from the ground, Tyce, calling the timeout. Great cerebral play by Lang. All right, McCulley to inbound again, and he brings it in this time to Washburn. Washburn left side to Pettis, dribbles toward midcourt into the forecourt. Now to McCulley, left side, McCulley in the corner. McCulley out front to Streeter, that's where they wanted. Streeter is bumped by Jackson, no call. Comes left side, Streeter is grabbed by Jackson, they finally call it. And really a silly foul by Jackson. You know, almost, Why would you foul? I don't, Why as, would you as foul? As a basketball fan, I Why want to tell Joe foul? Jackson, Why? Don't, don't foul Jackie's. You you got 16 seconds left on the 35, you're going to get the ball. Why back. would you I foul? Why you know, would you foul? It just almost looked like he did it on purpose. Like he was desperate, and it's like three seconds to go in the game. Very odd. Jack Streeter to shoot a pair. Miners up by two and make it by three as Streeter bleeds the first one home. Jack has had a magnificent second half. He's got 11 of his 13 points. Miners had their biggest lead of the day at three at 58-55. Well, he has solved his problem of not finishing. He finishes. Streeter's second one is also good. It's a four-point lead. 35 seconds left. Joe Jackson with it. Jackson comes around a pick by Steffens. Comes left side now to Antonio Barton. Back to Jackson. Jackson into the lane. Throws one up in traffic. It hits the bottom of the board. McCulley's got it. McCulley is fouled, I believe. Yes, DJ Steffens fouled him. 23.6 seconds left. The Miners by four will go to the other end for free throws. Gabe McCulley, the Memphis native, first one on the way, and it's dead center. Nothing but net is the McCulley family <laughs> responds in the upper rafters. Look at that. Miners are up by five with 23.6 seconds left in regulation time. And the FedEx Forum is as quiet as it can be. This one's for... Second one on its way for Gabe McCulley, and that one does not go. It's taken by Will Barton. Barton hurries into the forecourt. Barton stops and fires out front, and he hits a three. He is a clutch player. Memphis takes a timeout, so it's not over yet with 17.8 seconds left in regulation time. Gabe McCulley will inbound baseline backcourt. Full court pressure. See if McCulley can get it in. He runs the baseline. He dumps it into Washburn. He lost it in the corner, and it's out of bounds, I think, to Memphis. Yes, sir. All right, Chris Crawford inbound. 12.9 left. Here we go. It's into Joe Jackson. Jackson out front. Miners man-to-man. Eight seconds left. Jackson now to Will Barton. That's where they want it. 5-4. Barton crosses over. Comes left side. Washburn goes by, and Barton misses a three at the buzzer. The Miners win here in Memphis. The Miners have won here at FedEx Forum in downtown Memphis, Tennessee. UTEP has won back-to-back games here in the Bluff City over the mighty Memphis Tigers. The final score on the Advant Edge Pharmacy scoreboard, the Miners 60 and the Memphis Tigers 58. The Hunt Company's locker room report and final scoring totals are next on 92.3 The Fox from IMG College.